Hey, it's Chris here in Oklahoma. Inside video time. <clears throat> Here's Clyde. Good old boy. Eight-year-old black male taking a nap in his favorite spot so he can watch the birds. All right. Inside video. So this is what I did today. This is my living room in here. Everything's on solar right now, by the way. Lights, TV, stereo. And, hey, what's that over there? What is that? <gasps> it's a freaking window shaker air conditioner. And guess what? This is also on solar power. I got this. Let me grab my remote control. It has remote control. This, this thing went in like a glove, like a well-fitted glove. No issues whatsoever. And I can turn it on. Click on there. And it blew out. Oh, hang on. Let me, let me grab my thermal sensor. Infrared. I'll show you. I'm blowing out here. The compressor just kicked down, so it probably won't be that great. But when I tested it out earlier, it got down to 39 degrees. And I ain't kidding. Anyway, you get the idea. It's a good one. I just got it from Best Buy. And it is a good unit. Let's go outside and I'll show you what I did. To mount this, I got a little allergies going on. My head's kind of stuffy. There we go. See how I got it mounted? I use that 100 mile an hour tape right there. Got everything sealed up real good. Got it propped up. It really doesn't need need that, but I put that in there anyway just to help hold it up a little bit. A little noisy here on the outside, but not too shabby. Too shabby. Clean the windows while I was at it. Let's go back inside. Let's check and see where we're at with this now. Yeah, there you go. Pretty frosty. 8,000 cooling BTUs. Wow, that's great. Look at there. Yeah, it'll probably hit below 30. This is in Fahrenheit, by the way. Pretty cool. All right, let's let's keep this thing on on uh, cold temperature here. I'm gonna turn it down to like 62. We're gonna go out to the garage, and I'm gonna show you how much power this thing is pulling off the solar charge controllers. In from the sky. It's about 2:30 in the afternoon, so making making good power from the sun. I should be fully charged anyway. Let me open this up a little bit so I have some light. So it's pulling about a kilowatt. I got a lot of stuff on right now too. Oh, excuse me. Goodness. I'm pulling about 
28 amps off there, 27-ish there, and pulling pretty close to about the same, about 24, 700 plus watts, about 750 there, so I'm in float mode, which is awesome, it means the batteries are all topped off, so you know, you get anywhere from 1500 to 1600 watts, you know, from, from my panels up there in the back where I was just at. So, it's cranking along pretty good. I got, so far it's, well, it's 20 to 3 right now. I got 2.9 kilowatts there. And let's see how much the kid has said we made. 2.1. So 2.1 is exactly 5 kilowatt hours. Pretty good. Pretty good. Working really, really good. So, very surprised on that air conditioner and how much. Uh, You know, eight thousand. You know, my 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 room here, and this is where my thermostat is right here for the the big H back unit right there. And I got the air conditioner basically blowing kind of kind of in this direction, so airflow kind of goes kind of goes around this way. So the whole I the whole idea of this is to not run the big heavy-duty outside air conditioner and just run this little dog save on the power bill so yeah just thought I'd show you that I'm pretty happy works works like a dream it's chilly in here but it's only like maybe 80 degrees outside right now and then Oklahoma it gets up to 100 degrees in the summertime so that would be the real test but this is just a first test of this and Man, it works good. All right. Hey, thanks for watching, and uh, take care.